the look today for Suno, we having like a middle part ponytail. Then we had like a velvet silk ribbon that we had to the ponytail as a corset. We cross, cross, cross three quarter of the ponytail to have something small and graphic. I mean, the thing is like you have your hair down, you have your hair down and sometimes you need to, you want to change, you know? It's like who wants to look the same every day. It's nice to be able to do a braid, a ponytail, like it's what we call having fun. No? This season, the the look and the and the and the feeling for the makeup was all about this idea of aristocratic nomads. So the idea of these girls sort of like traveling on a journey, and Max and Aaron wanted to see like the effects of the elements on their skin. So we're basically creating like a really really subtle wind burned effect, and then giving this like very beautiful idea of a chapped lip. Um, it's really all about the skin. We used a lot of moisturizer, very little uh, concealer, a little bit of powder, so the girl's natural texture comes through. Because their clothes have such a strong narrative, it makes it really easy when you're, when you're working with hair and makeup. This collection was really kind of it was born amidst all of these kind of fashion rumors. What's happening to Fashion Week? What's happening in fashion? What's going on? Our brand's gonna die. And I think that we just kind of wanted to go back to something that felt really traditional and yet somehow weird and subverted. Because um, that feels very true to us. I think our girl is, is somehow glamorous but still really nonchalant. So that's where we, that's where we really, we started. It's more traditional ideas like these paisleys and plaids. And then how do you kind of screw them up in some way? started with the fabric. Almost all of the fabrics you see were developed by us and I think the fabrics really inspired everything else. The show really starts in this plaid moment um, which is again it feels more traditional but then in the way that it's styled it almost feels a little baby doll, a little strange and then it moves into kind of a, a more sparkly moment and it ends on, on something that just feels very shiny almost like water dripping down. The great thing about Suno is, again, it's that it's that seasonless way of dressing. What I loved the most, though, were the brocades of uh, metallic florals that were layered. And she also, or they opened the show with these incredible tartan looks that were so cool. Just, you know, it's very hard to do plaid and make it look cool or not schoolgirl. These were really new ways of looking at plaid and tartan. Those were my favorite looks. I do think that what we create is very individualized and it's for a woman who really favors something a little more eccentric or eclectic and because of that it's not that easy to mimic. I do think that we're just trying to celebrate what we've already been doing. Oh I love it. I love Suno. My favorite was like the beautiful house coat. I've seen a lot of house coats, but then again, I just am looking for house coats because that's I'm very housewife style. You know, they were beautiful dresses and beautiful. It just was beautiful. It looked beautiful and expensive, which I think that's how women want to look. I didn't come from a design background, so I leave all of the heavy lifting to Aaron. I'll have ideas and, and Aaron executes them, expands on them, <laughs> makes them better. I think it's feeling fresh. I think it's feeling expressive without feeling crazy. And then I do, I think it's about being, it's not about being comfortable, but um, yeah, confident. Going from like morning to night and being okay with yourself. If you have to go to a party and whatever you're wearing, you're okay.
I think the changing of the guard is amazing and long overdue, and it's so great that some maverick types have just decided we're going to do what works best for us. And I think now with, it's going to have a domino effect, and everyone's just going to say, hey, what's going to work best for us? Not let's just be on the hamster wheel and run faster. More collections, more pre-collections, more resort, and just do what's best and like what the customer wants. I think that addressing the customer's needs always evolves the brand forward, because then you're giving the customer what they need. I love the way the show was styled. I thought it was really cool the way they layered everything. Uh, there was an incredible pleated lame look that I loved, and the look that closed the show was a gold lame look. And I, you know, I'm a sucker for gold lame. So for me, that was a win-win show. I think she's creative. I often think she's an artist. A you know, I, we, we reference Cindy Sherman a lot, or, you know, she's, she's not necessarily of a certain age. She just likes wearing cool clothes and feeling good, but still really expressing herself and what she's wearing. Mm -hmm.